Is that a wolf? I hope that is, because I want to fight one of these things. I think that that is a wolf. Check it out. Now, if you, you can't aggro him. Yep, here he comes. Dude, that is so freaking cool. What is up, everybody? It's Bloodstalker. We're back with another episode of Badia Finally. This is the Alpha 1.4 update. Now, what does that mean? Well, frankly, a whole lot of stuff changed. I actually got in here and started playing it. Thought the update was in my game. My game said 1.4, but I hadn't taken the download for some reason. I don't know what that was about. So, if you guys have that problems, you might want to make sure and reload it. Um, reload Steam, open it up, make sure it finishes installing. So, I've got the update on here. Look at the graphics. I mean, it's it's a lot different now. It looks totally different as far as like... Uh, I don't, it looks more realistic graphics and shading. I mean, look at the shading right there. I mean, it's it's a lot more intense. I've actually got my shade. I've got everything maxed out still. I'm not running any issues. It's it runs. It's running smoother. It really runs a lot of smooth. That was part of the update was to do a lot of optimization. Um, there's now you actually now have a enemy in the game. I gotta get me some food. And that enemy is now a wolf. So there are wolves roaming around now. So you have something to fight, something to stay alive from. It's kind of cool. Another really awesome thing is, well. I'll show you here in a second. Let me shoot this dude. Oh, man. He's a wily one. Let glare. I think I got him. Maybe not. I can see the indentations of it. That is so freaking cool. So, basically now, what you've got to deal with is you have to survive more. If you notice my hunger and my thirst, it goes down a whole lot faster. And when I say a whole lot faster, it goes down pretty dang quick. Um, I've been playing. I said I'd, I'd started my game over when I did this, and so I've got full water. I've got. I don't have any food on me, but you can eat raw meat, which is what I've been doing. So we just need to kill something, and there should be stuff to kill out here. I haven't seen a problem with that, but the game is getting a little darker because it's the time they sped up the time. If you notice it now, it ticks away pretty quick compared to what it used to. What is that up there? I saw him moving around. We'll find out. Would you like to know more? So, some of the things they fixed in this update was vehicles will now be saved. So, like, say you're rolling around in a Jeep, or, you're, or a, not a Jeep, but an armored car, or you're rolling around in a tank, a horse, a camel, I don't care what you got. If you're sporting a vehicle, a ride, whether it be mechanical or alive, it now saves it. So if you save out in the middle of the desert, you have a way back home. You're not lost in this forsaken place. Is that a wolf? I hope that is because I want to fight one of these things. I think that that is a wolf. Check it out. Now, if you, you can't aggro him. Yep, here he comes. Dude, that is so freaking cool. So, yeah, you now have something to worry about. It's just one thing right now, but still, that's better than what it was. I don't know if you can blow yourself up. I don't know if you can do We're going to try as much as we possibly can in this update. So, besides being able to save it, now how that works, we didn't get any meat off of him. Oh, that sucks. Jeez. There's another one right there. I'm not going to mess with the wolves. They don't give you any food. It's kind of pointless. Now, if you notice, you do have specific ammo. We've got—I picked up a bunch of nine millimeter ammo, and I've got forty-five caliber. My Thompson takes forty-five caliber. So, because of that, I've only got a few shots. Now, the ammo cases, cases I picked up turned into nine millimeter shells. Well, there's a couple whoops out there. Oh, got to spin the mouse. Oh, there's some over there. They're man, they're everywhere. So, as it gets dark, I think they come out more. 
So now you have a predator in the game. Um, now, the thing about the animals, though, about like your vehicles and stuff, say, for instance, you take a horse to one place and you get go, you walk back to the village and you take a grab a camel and bring it back. The last thing you interact or ride is what gets saved, not everything. So if you've got a couple of your stack stockpiling up <laughs> tanks and armored cars and animals thinking you got like the whole little little own little world private toy, you're thinking about getting in the business of selling them, it's not going to work out for you. And we are really not finding anything out here. This is... Oh, just loaded in a chunk. Now the loading is a little bit more optimized. Look at that glare. That is like a real sunset, man. I mean, that's just the color and everything. And that's another thing they did. They changed down a lot of the stuff. They the f weather system is now fully upgraded. So what that means is now supports volumetric clouds, thunder, heat haze, and solar eclipse. How is he not dead yet? Well, you better get your butt back here. Oh, I'm out of ammo now. We might die. We might actually die in this game for once. We got to run off this way. We got to get out of here. My health's still in good shape, but we still need to get out of here. <laughs> so they also, did, what they did a lot of other stuff is, they, they did a lot of upgrades to like the cinematic of temporal analyzing. So in addition to the, the existing FXAA and SMAA analyzing methods, they introduced CTAA, which I've got this on CTAA. So that's why it looks like this. So it's a whole new different look. Well, that dude's still following me. I can beat him, I can beat him up and kick him. Little bastard. Well, he didn't took a little chunk out of me, didn't he? So is he coming back for more? Go ahead and equip this. Cause seeing I have no ammo. At least we can yeah. There we go. We can stab something. So anyway, they they added in a filmatic uh filmic look. And that's kinda like the new color grading and stuff that I was talking about. And that you look at this. I mean they're they're making this look like a legitimate game and they're 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 advancing pretty quickly in that aspect. I was I'm really really surprised. I wasn't expecting a lot of that type of stuff. Look at the sand blowing in there. So again, this is this this kind of equates back to like DayZ and Miscreated and a lot of these games and Rust even where people make like cinematic and epic epic kind of like content for YouTube. This game's going to be able to do it changing over zones. Um they did talk about that. That that kind of buffering lag or whatnot it's going to be here for a while and it's just part of the game you're not going to optimize that first when you have an opportunity to optimize it on down the line when it makes more sense because something you do or change could impact it and break it again so it's there's no sense in, in messing with it when, there, when there's no sense you know what i'm saying and that's the way a lot of early access games are so they also messed up messed with the contact shadows i got another dude on me don't know I like how the music changes for you. Don't you run for me, boy. I'll run after you now. And uh, one thing I talked about was the ammo calibers. See how the sun moon come out? Oh, I can skin his ass now, finally. You come here, boy. That's right. Oh, I'm about dead. Oh, God. I'm about to die. Yep, I died. That's awesome. So that's the first time we've died in this game. Holy crap, it can happen now. I do like that. At least this time I spawn in a village. Now let's see. I've got 303 caliber. So that's what the, the rifle takes. Now I've got the M M1917. I don't have anything else. i got my clothes on me. I don't have any tools. I don't have any water. So we need to get water. I do have lock picks. Now, not everybody starts with lock picks now. At least I don't think they do. Because I started with the um, soldier and he didn't have lock picks. I had to like find some something to make them. We'll get that horse here in a little bit too. 
so look at that. You got a cow in here. You still can't shoot animals inside, like domesticated animals, see? Or people in the villages, which is good. We want to keep that like that. Get some Rataturum. Rataturum, I think that's how you say it. I'm trying to learn how to say this stuff better. All right, so now we want to fill up our water skin. So as far as that goes, though, they really did work on the vehicles. Now, another thing is, if you can't just sit there and fire on a gun, because it will legitimately overheat, which, that, that's more realistic. So what they're doing, is this is going from a fantasy play around, do whatever you want world, to an actual world of... Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button, sitting there drinking. I equipped the water pouch, did I not? I guess I didn't equip it when I did that. So yeah, there's no more running around just shooting everything you want. You don't have you have there you have limited ammo too. Um, so you know you have to face the vehicle, you have to reload it and everything. So I mean they're they're really working towards making this game. I make it realistic, honestly, and that's what it needs. I mean the game is awesome in its own right, but I mean it's it's getting it's getting more like you have a death threat now. You can die. Let's just take all that. I can sell it. Always. Oh, look at the sun coming up. See how they got the shadows from it. I love this, man. This this game is looking so beautiful now. Some people might think it looks a little bit more like blander, but you think about being in the desert. If you've ever been in a desert, and I have, I've been in the deserts um, in Arizona. Um, I had family that lived in Phoenix, so we go visit them, and they lived pretty. Much, I mean, once you went in their backyard, that was pretty much the desert. And I mean, it was a totally different. I mean, it during the daytime. I mean. I'm used to like humidity where I live. We have a lot of humidity. And for those who don't know what humidity is, it's where you can have a temperature. Man, I'm just sucking at this. There we go. Um, say your core temperature can be like 100 degrees outside, but the humidity with the heat index makes it 120. Those look like girl pants. <laughs> Do they not? Got us some skinny jeans. We're good to go now. Um, but where I live at in the south, you know, we get humidity here, man. And humidity is no freaking joke. I do want to make an axe, so let's pick that up. Um, another thing I noticed, and I think, see, I don't know I don't know what happened with the update. I don't know if I had, like, part of the update in or not all of it. Oh, I'm getting good at this. Oh, I, pss. yep, I'm out. I need lock picks. Um, but, like, wait. No, I I had more weight than the other. I think it was something was broken in my game because it wouldn't let I me. Mean, when I tried to get out of it, it legitimately wouldn't let me. I mean, it it cra gave me a crash report, and I was fixing to submit it, but then I realized it was I was downloading an update to Badia, and I was like, wait a minute, I have one dot four. Why am I already got that? Why am I getting another update? And then it was I realized it was the actual update. So who knows? I have no idea why I did that. All right, let's sell some stuff so we can get some money. Okay, trade. We want to sell. Let's sell that. Sell the hat. I'm going to keep the dates because I want the dates. Sell that. Let's see how much we get. I hear you, kitty kitty. We need to buy some food. I want to buy a little bit of food so we have something. Well, it does not give you a lot of hunger. Oh, no bot. There we go. Now we buy. I bought something else that I don't need, but oh well. That's one thing. you got to click on it, and I'm not used to that. See, there we go. Now I can buy it. What did I end up buying? Uh, I got the dates. We'll sell the dates. I don't need those right now. Let's look at my rocks. I really don't know what I bought. A, oh, I bought a soldier's helmet. That's awesome. All right, we're going to sell that sucker right back. All right, now we're going to look around here because they've added a lot more, like, if you notice, like, there's more, pick, there's more stuff to pick up here in the town. And there's a whole lot more stuff to pick up. Look at that. I don't think I can pick that up, but nope. But still, they've added a lot more different types of trees, different styles. I wonder if I can chop down a palm. I need to find... Oh, 
What's this? Oh, they changed. They did the redid the fuel canister too. Looks like that's oh, unlocked. I'm going to I'm going to scrap that because I want the I want to be able to make some more. So crafting resources lockpick. So we can get three. So let's try breaking into this thing. Hopefully I can do it better this time. Cause I only got three. Oh look at that. Oh look at that. Oh bam. Nailed it. I'm getting better. You gotta give me credit for that. Just take all. Alright, so what do we want to do? Now there's chickens too now. I mean they've got also I mean they're really adding a lot in there. Look at that. They got a piece piece of siding just kinda of laid up against that. I mean they're making it look legitimately more realistic. They're adding more stuff to it. So now the smaller fixes they added in was the whipping poses, the hand movements when you walk. And look at your hands, how you clench them when you run. You do that, it's like normal. You normally would clench your fist when you start running when you're at the ready. Now let's see, let's equip the weapon and I'll show you that too. Because that's one thing I wanted to see. See, it looks more realistic. It's still kind of little, yeah. Yeah, when he goes to aim, it actually looks like he's aiming. Go ahead and reload it. And you can hit the mouse. Mean, this is something that this is something that, that nobody really. I don't think a lot of people knew. But if you hit, click the middle mouse button, you change your side. So if you're a lefty or a righty, you can make a difference now. Now another thing is if you don't have a gun. I mean, if you don't have a gun, you can also do the same thing. You can zoom in. All right, we need some more wood. I don't need more stone. Let's get some more wood, please. But look at all the bushes. Before, you didn't see a lot of that stuff. There's more shrubs, things like that. You got a lot of the dead trees. Change my mouse but angle around. This is just... They've done so much. Um, another thing I mentioned, though, is they tweaked your hunger and your, your food and your stamina and thirst and the timing of the day. So the game speeds up a whole lot faster now. It runs a little bit quicker, and then you also have to deal with your food going down. It's a little bit more survival. So before you could always die from survive, from starvation, now you can really start from it. Is that a little crate to oh no. And again, you know, you always can do the interacting with stuff. See? And nobody's gonna get mad at you right now. I need to sell as much as possible. Does he not want to buy it? Oh wow, it's a hundred. Ooh, we got some something worth a lot of money here. Let's see if he'll buy it. Will he buy it? Yes, he will. He's got the money for it. So we've got our whole Western garb on. I'm gonna stick to it. The whole outlaw look. I like it. I never really played it as an outlaw. So we got water. Did I already get this one? Let's check it. Oop, can loot it. Oh, there we go. Oop, spin back this way. Let's steal a horse now. We're an outlaw, why not? So, they also fixed the water for the oasis, which is... Oh, wow. That dude really jets off now. Look at him go. Yeah, they, even the horse riding is a lot different. Which I had a funny moment, which I'll have to see if it'll work on here now, but it was pretty damn funny. Let's see, clothing, sell. We want to buy food items. Value 60, we should have enough. Value 30, we'll buy that too. There we go. Ooh, we could buy a Luger. 38 caliber, 9mm. Ooh, we bought that. I don't know where we were. Shh. Swear, dogs chasing cats, cats chasing dogs. Oh, yeah, they fixed it. See, before you could walk into the horse and, like, push him around. 
And so when I was recording earlier and trying to make a video, I actually did that. And when I pushed him, I went to get on there at the same time, and I looked like I was like sat side straddling him. It was kind of funny. I don't know why I did that. It made for the funniest thing ever, and I really... Oh, look, is it snow? Or is that just the clouds? We're going this way, because that looks like snow up there. And that's the one thing I have yet to experience in this game, is like... It's always just been desert, you know? Alright, so... While we're running out there, these are the next things they're wanting to do for the game. They're wanting to add a hot bar, which we've talked about that. We've been talking about that since we started doing videos on this game, seriously. Um, they're, they're going to be adding in human enemies, like soldiers and bandits. Um, they're going to be adding in more wild animals. So this game in the, next ex, the, in the planned updates, I don't know if they're all going to do it at one time or slowly integrate it. But we could progressively go from having the wolves to all of a sudden we have hyenas, jackals, lynx, the Arabian white leopard, which that'd be so pretty, pretty that'd be cool, cool as hell to see. And then having like soldiers and bandits running around like the, they'd be guarding the airports and the ancient ruins you run into, which would be cool because you can have a gunfight. I mean, it's, it's pretty neat. Okay, I want to shoot that dude. Get off. Well, I do have some 38 caliber ammo. Let's shoot him and see if we can kill him with the revolver. Got to reload it first. Okay, we're reloaded. Where are you running to, boy? Oh, my shot is... Aiming is horrible. Oh, got him. So... Yeah, that's going to be cool. Um, there are also going to be like corpses out in the desert you can find. Um, which that would be kind of interesting because you have something to loot, scavenge for and whatnot. I mean, when it comes down to it, that will be kind of neat. They're going to be adding, they're talking about adding, they're going to be adding a crafting bench in. So you can, some things like harder to craft complicated items you'll be able to craft. A cooking bench or cooking area or like cook, a crafting table. Well, finally we get some stuff. Um, they're going to add, you know, crafting recipes that you can learn. You can make a campfire. That's one thing they're getting to. Um, they're wanting to make it where you can shoot while you're on a horse, which that'd be so freaking cool. Be really hard to do, but I mean, once you get, get used to it, um, they want to tie crafting, re cra crafting to recipes that you need to collect and learn throughout the world. So basically you have, you learn, learn to learn to do things like blueprint system in a sense, but not necessarily blueprints. Um, they want to make things throwable so you can like have a tool so if i want to chunk a wrench if all i have is a wrench and you, someone's attacking me i can chunk it at him and run you know which that's kind of neat um they're going to add more weapons like the lewis gun the winchester shotgun oh i can't wait and a blunderbuss that by far is one of the coolest things is a blunderbuss and i didn't see snow up there it was just the clouds through it um let's see climb you can be able to climb ladders in the military camps and the airports which we haven't found in a military camp. So they're going to be adding in military camps. They still got the train that they need to add in. Which James Bond sent me a message on Steam. We were talking about it. And he thought that there was, he thought that they added them in too. I thought that they did too. I'd heard he'd say, he'd mentioned it to me. And I kept looking. I couldn't find anything on it. But I was hoping it was in there. I was hoping that was a thing. That's the volumetric clouds. Look at that. You actually have like not just white clouds. You actually have like a. That's so cool. Oh, crap. That was changed. That's that loading chunk thing. Um, and they're going to be furthermore, furthermore op optimizing the, the terrain for the GPU, for your GPU and the vegetation for your GPT, GPU. Right now, it's kind of just, it's not very optimized. And it's purposely done like that. So it does not tax it because it's not, you know, it's not, it's not 100%. See, it's starting to get cloudy. Is it going to start snowing on us? I want snow, man. I don't, I'm not, we're supposed to get snow here in real life. In Arkansas, maybe possibly Friday, but I want to at least see it in the game. I need snow, man. I like snow. Oh, wow, look at this view. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Oh, that's awesome. Hold on, that's got to be a screenshot. Get a better angle on it. There we go. All right. So, I guess we'll go down here. 
Oh, I see an oasis. The, perfect. We can get to check out the oasis because they retextured it. Now, you notice the animal stamina goes down a whole lot faster than it did, too. Just like fuel consumption will on the vehicles, too. So keep that in mind. I wonder if I can ramp him. Oh, no, he doesn't ramp. Oh, man. That was funny, though, when I did that. So they're, they're putting a lot of work into this game. I know I really haven't got to cover too much of it. Oh, there's a camel. Um, I know I haven't got to cover much of it. I haven't done, done a lot with it. But when it all said and done, this game is amazing. And the Oasis's look beautiful, guys. Semaphore Labs, I give you guys a lot of credit. This game is beautiful. I mean, you really have done a lot. You guys have busted your butts. It was worth the wait. I mean... Everybody's like waiting for the update. And that's one thing. I want you guys to know that these guys legitimately. Now you can get in their inventory. Thank you, God. So it might be worth having a camel now. I don't know. I just don't know yet. I better get on him. Oh, excuse me. I had to sneeze. So, folks... I think that's going to be it for it, man. We've, we've, we've done a lot. A little, we talked about a lot. How about that? Now I'm going to piss in the oasis. Ha ha. Now, we've talked about a lot that's happened. I want you guys to know that I'm 100% behind this game. I love it. It's going to be awesome. I really, I mean, look at the, the flow of the clouds. and the, Look at the dust blowing up. Man, this is going to be an epic game, guys. It's not a question of if. It's just a question of when it gets done. And um, have some faith in these guys because, man, this is a beautiful work of art right now. I mean, they're really, really gone leaps and bounds with this game and making it look beautiful and making it just awesome. Now, we don't have a gas canister. There's an oil refiner. I've never got to show you guys this. I don't think in any of my videos. We'll show this. We'll end over here at the oil refiner. How about that? Um, Sheldon's AFK actually got to do it. He got to, He found one on his, his video he did on it. And um, if you want to see more videos on it, check out Sheldon's FK. He started playing the game. I got him into it. And um, it's pretty interesting. It's just different people's takes on the game and their thoughts. There's not a lot of people playing Badia right now. Um, I know for the longest time, people, a lot of people have been asking me to do videos on it. That's where a lot of my... It's not where... I mean, I got a lot of subscribers off of it, off of doing Badia. A lot of different people. Um, and there's still people that, that hang around and start watching everything else. So you just hold... There's a fuel can. Cool. So you pick up a fuel can, you gotta equip it. So for everybody who likes the Badia videos and who's, who, who've been part of that, I hope you guys are happy to finally see the update because I know I am. For those of you who, who've just subscribed to my channel and have not seen a lot of the Badia videos, I suggest you go check them out and see the progress that's been made on this game. There's not a whole lot to do to this game. I mean, I've said that many a times. Now there's a little bit more... But the game is worth watching, putting it on your wish list. I'm not saying go out and buy it. If you want to, buy it and be part of the testing of it. Be part of the playing around with it and experiencing it. It's starting to get hot. Look at that. It's 85. De Actually, that's not hot. 85 degrees is not really hot at all. Because this is a dry heat. There's no humidity. So, See, where I live at, if it was 85 degrees, the humidity would probably be about 98. No joke. I mean, it would be 98 degrees with humidity. And that's an icky, sticky wet that just makes you melt. Literally, you feel like you're melting. When you walk outside, it takes your breath away. Especially in situations like when it, the, the temperature is 100 degrees and you have like 125 in heat, degree heat index. For those of you who lived in the South, you know what I'm talking about. So, I think that's all I got for you guys, man. I'm so excited it's out. Um, I really look forward to this game. Just the progress is going to be made. And to Simifor Labs, if you guys end up watching this video, man, I really, I love it, man. This is, you guys have really, you, you did a great job on this update. You made us wait for it, so the anticipation was real. But it was finally worth, it was worth the wait, man. It really was, guys. Great job. Keep it up. That's all I can say, man. Just keep doing what you guys are doing and just keep, just keep banging along at this game because it's, it is so worth it. And we're really, really ready for more to get added on to it. So, I've been Bloodstalker. This has been the Badia Alpha 1.4 update. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. 
you guys know what to do if you like the video slap that that like that thumbs up button leave a comment tell me what you think um just give give some feedback man let me know what you guys think of the progress of the game i know it took them i know they've been haven't had an update in a while but give them the benefit of the doubt they did pack a lot of stuff into this one i know it didn't seem like it when you read through the notes but there's a lot of back end stuff that was done on this that just i mean look at them look at the clouds and everything i mean it's just that's just awesome Anyway, as always, peace out, y'all.